if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop a like, and uh, if you want to support us even more, head on over to patreon.com slash games to show your support. Let's get it, boys. So I've done a uh, full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm-hmm. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So another drone? Yeah. They dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? I'm Amy. You're... Hello. Pleasure to meet you, Dahlo. Are you going to hurt me? I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now. <laughs> it's okay. Tell them, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. All right. All right. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us are stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this chemical ruin my life? Tosa. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Please breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Look at me. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one pile left. What are you gonna do? I say give a decision. We're gonna give it to Dima. I think Dima's the girl. Dima, give me your arm. <laughs> Dima, please. You have to trust me. Okay, this will save you and your baby. No, you are with the Supreme Leader. You want to kill my baby? No! <laughs> Reese, how do I save them? Reese? Bro, the girl's so stupid. How do you not realize you're about to die, motherfucker? You're over there seizing out on a goddamn fucking stretcher, like, bro. We stand on the precipice of history. 
Okay, okay. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm Dr. here on behalf Amy of Tennant. the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Okay. Firstly, we've been Just using our billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation. Okay. Corporation's relationship with Kindar has so, flourished since I'm the resolution of its civil war. So what I'm going to assume is happening is maybe like a virus or an infection, maybe. Natalie has even developed like an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, we. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit. Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington. She's dealing with a dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Oh, man, this Why guy is... Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and yeah, we're all you here don't. trying to help it recover. It seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Good one. You got a point. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, they're on a subway. Oh, that girl is. Oh, is she sick? Oh, God, does she have that virus? Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. We'll be British, that's cool. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? That girl's got the virus. Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. Oh no, dude. We can't fit a hospital. That girl's got it! Ten ton mark. Everybody run for your life! this? Nanocells. Stem cells. Interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny maglets. <laughs> What's your problem? This is, of course, just a mock up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. Amy, you need it urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise, before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. Yes, absolutely. What are your questions? What's the catch of this miracle tech? You made it in a lab, so is it radioactive or what? Mm -hmm. What about privacy laws? Are they trackable? 
Don't worry, we're talking about genetic reprogramming here, so nothing artificial or unnatural would ever go into Come our on, make it quick. Amy, please, we need you now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? 